So these are the lip glosses. They are our most recent launch and they have been a long time coming. Our nude is favored by Gwyneth Paltrow and was used in a look actually last fall. Um, it's a really, really easy color to wear. The formulas are light, but some of the darker shades you can actually build so that the color has a bit more intensity. And the stickiness is mild, which a lot of people have favored. If you're a true gloss person, I think you actually may want more stickiness, but we actually decided to cater to the people who were not looking for that as much. One of our hot sellers for uh, the summer has been White Rabbit. That is pretty much a clear looking gloss, but what's really pretty about it is that it's got gold in it. So if you want something light on your lips with just a bit of sheen, it works really well and can go beautifully over top of a lipstick or one of our lipstick crayons. And uh, yeah, the smell of the glosses too. Our, our signature scent, we use the jasmine oil, the orange blossom, and a little bit of vanilla. So really popular pink for the summer has been Love Buzz, which again is on the bluer side of things but right away you can see that this shade has a lot more coverage and a lot more pigment. Love Buzz is great for people who are more fair. It has a lot of coverage, and even for people who are darker, um, there's something about it that's just really fresh and kind of crisp for a pink. For reds, uh, of course we have to have our red. Uh, Heartbeat has been a perfect bang on bluey tinted red um, that layers lovely on top of Wild Child or 99 Red Balloons, which is our new lipstick crayon. It's also nice on its own, and because the pigment's a little bit thicker, it will give you more coverage and a lot of sheen. The Butterfly and I, <laughs> this one is a simple, simple shade for everybody. Uh, it's kind of a go-to if you're not really sure about color because it's got just enough peach and coral in it so it can be warming to the lips, but it still has a sheer aspect so it will actually blend in with a lot of skin tones. Of course, we had to do another nice dark berry since our berries are always done really well for us and this one has a touch of saffron in it. It almost looks like it's got a bit of an orangey, yellowy hue. Um, which really warms it up. It looks a little bit darker in the container, but once it goes on the skin, it actually has a, a warmth to it that over a red could turn into a really nice kind of brick berry red. So I'd recommend mixing that with um, possibly something like Wild Child to get a, a rich mulberry hue for fall. We're really excited that they're out. It's kind of one of the final pieces to our whole lip area. It's a perfect thing to top up over top of some of our lipstick crayons or the lipsticks. And for people that have been looking for more of a sheen that isn't sheer, uh, this would be the one to go to to add on top of our other pieces.